So Notion just released a fantastic yet simple feature called Buttons to help you create multiple step automations right inside of Notion. You can simply click a button in Notion to perform a series of actions. To see how it works, I will take you through the demo that shows what it can do. And in the second half of the video, I will explain how the buttons are actually set up. I'm using a use case to automate projects and tasks. To explain every feature that Notion added for buttons, I created two databases, one for projects and the other one for tasks. Let's go through the demo first and follow that up with an explanation of how to set it up. We will cover setting up projects, adding tasks and subtasks, moving in complete tasks and confirming executed tasks to illustrate all automated using the buttons function. The two projects we set up are Alpha, which is a marketing project, which my partner is the owner of, and Beta, which is the finance project for which I'm the owner. We added a tasks database with the ability to create subtasks using the sub items feature inside of Notion. Projects have a start and end date and tasks have a start and a completed date. Projects have a project owner and both tasks and subtasks have an assignee and are associated with the specific project. Progress is measured in terms of number of tasks completed, which roll up to tasks and projects independently. So we've created two roll up properties in the nature of progress bars that utilize the progress bars feature in Notion. I've changed the icons for properties so that it looks much nicer. And you make sure that the relations are showing as links and the progress bars are showing as line graphs. We've created eight buttons. When you click on the open new project button, it requests for a confirmation so that you don't accidentally click on a button and create a project. If you confirm, it opens up a blank project with today's date as the start date and the person who clicked on open the project. You will notice simultaneously that it opens up the side peak view for completing the blank details. You can fill up the rest of the information like the name of the project, the department and the end date. So let's close the side peak window. We have two demo projects already created. We don't need that dummy project that we created. There are two task buttons, one for each project that I have set up that are identical and two subtask buttons that link back to each project that we have set up as well. Let's create two tasks for project alpha and one task for project beta. It's not just creating the task rows. It's filling in the type as task, assigning it to the project owner and to the person who clicked on it and simultaneously stamping it with the project name. Now let's create three subtasks for project alpha and two which will go to the first task and one which is for the second one. Similarly, I'll just create one subtask for project beta for the task we just created. Notice here that the links have now been built between the subtask and the respective project. Now let's drag the subtasks into the respective tasks. This is configured this way so that the task to subtask linkage is formed by just dragging them to the respective task. The progress bars are completely updated and the relations are also updated automatically. Now let's change the date in a few of these to a date earlier than today. One click of the move task to today will move all the tasks earlier than today back to today's date after a confirmation. I didn't want an accidental click to move anything to today. You can also see that you can quickly undo the move in the menu that pops up temporarily just at the bottom. I've also set up buttons to complete all project subtasks related to today, related to individual projects at the end of the day without having to tick them off individually. The completed date and the time is also being updated automatically. If you're enjoying the video so far, why not subscribe? The buttons feature in Notion has significantly upgraded the templates feature that existed earlier. You can still type slash temp or slash but to bring up the buttons menu, which is part of the advanced blocks. Once you try to create the button, it will throw up five options to create the first step. One is to insert the block which is similar to the template button earlier. The second one is to add a page to an existing database. The next one is to edit the page inside of the same database and to update properties. The fourth one is for confirmation. And the fifth one is to open a page either in full mode, center mode or side peak mode. Let's open the first one and insert a block, which has already been created in blocks. You'll notice this settings cogwheel. If you click on it, you will find an option to insert the block above or below the button. And by clicking on the ellipsis, you can add the step above or duplicate the same below. If you open the open new project setting, you will find the second one 
to add a page to an existing database. You can customize the name of the button and the icon. I've added the confirmation first where I can change the text and I can choose to abort the function. On confirmation, it will add a page to the project database. It will also insert a start date and I've set that up to today automatically. The owner is the person who clicked on the button and the open to page is a side peek. Right now, they've provided a dynamic date option only for today and for now. I'm sure they'll add many more options in the upcoming releases. The new task creation inserts a new page, but notice here that I can assign it to the project owner and to the person who clicked on it simultaneously. In the subtask creation, the main difference is that you can add the relation to the project so that it automatically populates. I could have done that for the tasks feature, but I didn't really need it rolled up. I have left the subtask name blank. But if you have multiple standard subtasks for a series of tasks, then you can populate individual descriptions and duplicate the task quickly with add another step or by clicking on the ellipsis. When you move a task, I ask for a confirmation. But more importantly, you will notice that it won't update all tasks, only the ones with filters. The filters I've set is for those where the start date is prior to today, is not completed, and the completed property is empty. I also kept this function project agnostic. For the completed tasks property, I added the button by project. But here the three filters are for start date is today, the type is specifically a subtask, and the project is project alpha. The completed property timestamps it with now instead of today. 